think that we will start with the with the panelists first. And the question is that what challenges you see in front of you in view of the COVID-19? We'll start with you, Professor Kevin. Over to you. Uh, thanks so much. It's a great privilege to be here. I'm speaking to you from uh, out in my home outside of Dartmouth. And if you don't know where Dartmouth is, it's in uh, the New England area of the U.S. If you don't know where that is, it's in the Northeast. So I'm close to Boston, a couple hours outside of Boston. So it's winter here. Uh, it's morning, but it's a great honor and privilege to be here with uh, and be part of the summit to have a chance to speak with the uh, all these uh, esteemed panelists. So it's just a, a wonderful uh, event. So thanks so much for everyone for putting, uh, putting this together and participating. So I wanna, I'm gonna approach this question from my perspective uh, expertise, um, which is branding. And so I'm gonna think of this more from a branding standpoint. And I think it's, it's fascinating to think about US and India and what the opportunities are for any brand a uh, quick footnote, I happen to know India well. I'm married to someone, uh, another Professor Keller, uh, Poonam Keller, who grew up in uh, Mumbai or ba and went to the University of Bombay when it was ba back and got her MBA and is a, uh, also in the Dean's office, also a professor of marketing. I got married in India. I've been there many times. So it's very close to me and I, I care a lot about um, this topic. And, so, but, I, but let, let's, for me, I just want to focus on the branding and I want to make five, five, I want to say there are five key things, sorry, four key things I want to focus on. So here's, here's the way I've been thinking about this really over the last, um, you know, 12 months or so as I've been, as, as we've been coping with this. So one is, I think there are, there's all kinds of fundamentals that have to be thought through that come out with COVID in, in term, from a marketing standpoint and a branding standpoint in terms of the supply chain in terms of omni-channel, just there's all these fundamental issues that have to be, and you know, the role of digital and how that's how that's changed the way consumers now are, are shopping and, and having to collect information in ways that, that were happening before have been accelerated in different ways. I want to set that aside. I think the other panelists are going to, I'm sure, speak to that uh, in, the, in their own, own ways. And I just want to focus on brand. And the four things I want to I want to emphasize is one is the importance of empathy, and that in times that are challenging and tough, you've got to get close to your consumers, to your customers, and you really have to try to go beyond what you've done before. And I think many companies say, "Oh, we're very customer centric, or, and we stay close to the customer." Where you truly, truly think about how are, how are they thinking, how are they feeling, what are they doing? Are these temporary? Are these permanent, and most importantly, how can you help? And I'm going to come back to that because I think the brands that have been most successful during the pandemic have been the ones that have been the most helpful in different ways. So, so that's the start point, and that's the foundation, is to really go um, beyond what you've done before and to be empathetic, and that's to, to understand and to help. Understand, appreciate, and help. Second point is the importance of a value proposition and to really, really put forth the most compelling value proposition. I think that's true, again, all the time. I think it is uh, particularly acute right now, in part because some of the aspects of the value proposition have changed. Because value proposition fund fundamentally is all your benefits versus all the kind of costs and cost savings that you can allow for. With, so, so what are those benefits that are both financial, you know, logistical, psychological, and, and similarly with costs. So really thinking through fundamentally and, and making sure that you're seen as delivering and uh, good value and having that perception. So matching the reality of what you do with also then the perception. So you may need to frame things in certain ways so customers and consumers appreciate the value you're creating. But this is something that, you know, with the, the tough economic times that went with the pandemic and which all companies experience in, in different ways through time, then that notion of value proposition gets heightened. But, you know, fundamentally understanding that and rethinking that. So that's the second one. Start with empathy and then build on that in terms of rethinking and putting forth the best value proposition. Then the, the third thing I would say um, is about strategy. It's about being authentic and true to your brand. 
And authenticity, I think, is a vital ingredient to uh, any brand. Uh, I think it's becoming more uh, important with a millennial generation, I think a younger generation, looking for authenticity, something that's real, something that's, um, that, that they can uh, believe in, that they trust. And, uh, and then lastly, I think that's especially important in a case of a crisis or a pandemic or, or very, very challenging times. So being really true to yourself and, and, and not losing sight of, of what you're really, your brand promise. You know, brand promise is all about you, you set expectations and you deliver on those. Well, what are those and, and how, and making sure you're authentic and true to yourself and not trying to be something that you're not. And I see a lot of brands, that's it, again, a lot of this advice is advice I would give um, uh, to any brand at any time but it's especially acute now. And that's why I, I bring this up in terms of thinking about these times and thinking about brands in India and thinking about brands in the, in the US. So really sort of thinking about, um, you know, how, how to, to, to not lose sight of your brand promise. So lastly is probably in some ways the most important one. And, and uh, all those I think are critical in ones that you need to do. But lastly, it's about innovating. And it is about taking advantage of this opportunity that comes with this challenge. All challenges are opportunities, right? So to actually think about what to do in terms of um, uh, to how to actually address some of the, the things you need to be doing and should have been probably doing anyway. It's classic stop, start and continue. Thinking of ways that you can improve by, by actually stopping and doing some things, doing some new things, and then also just changing the way you do others. So you can clean up your brand portfolio, you can clean up your product mix, you can clean up your channels of distribution, your budget allocations. So it really is trying to recognize all the, um, the you know, how things might've been changing anyway but really a chance to take stock of where you are and where you need to go. And you've got to, again, be mindful of the day-to-day -day survival to get through these challenging times. And so there, and, and the most obvious one is that there, in general, is that there are just too many brands, too many products out there, prune and focus. So, and really figure out what are the brand and product offerings that make the most sense for you. Rethink how you spend your money. Rethink how you're going to market. So there's a lot of these things. Rethink your segmentation, targeting, and positioning, the classic STP of marketing, and sharpen that and refocus that. So I think that the, the last one, I think, is so important because, you, again, it's, it's something that this, this challenging time and going forward, you have a great opportunity to do some things that, that you need to do and, and also reflecting the new world we'll be moving into. So those are my four things. And then I'm, I wanna hear from the other panelists now. So uh, empathy, uh, value and the value proposition, the strategy in terms of, uh, of being authentic and true to your brand. And then lastly, being the innovation in terms of stop, start and continue. So thank you very much. And again, look, look, look forward to hearing uh, from all the panelists and, and participating in the Q&A uh, as questions come up. So thanks so much.